working. Okay, hold on. So now, we call this the act of mating, but there are several other very important differences between human beings and animals that you should know about. <laughs> Okay, this is a second emergency podcast this week. It's Jeremy. What the hell did I? With the Star Wars Legends podcast. Um, can I can I quit the podcast now? You might as well. Like, what what are we doing at this? We were listening to Black Mountain Gang, but you you put your mic in your mouth, and it sounded awful, so I had to stop. What are we doing? Um, well, well, something happened today. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you call that happening, uh, you didn't deal with it. Is it like the hap- Is this like the happening, but well, like with us? Dumber. It was actually dumber than the M Night Shyamalan movie, The Happening. Wow. We had a guy who we'll just call Darth Coward. Okay. That. Quote, let's see here. Let, let me pull up the screenshot Matt Wilkins texted me at work today. Oh, you were at work too when he texted it? I'm just yeah. like, what? Um, quote, ah, so apparently these two dudes threatened to stab me. And he put a link to our last podcast. And I got all sorts of, I got called a brat. We got called brats, Dylan. He wouldn't attack Amelia, though, because he's a SJW sort of person. And Right. So, Amelia, um, you... Uh, I didn't make any... They were talking about their stabbing jokes. Yeah. It's the only thing I think that comes close on here. And again, I think we made it pretty clear that it's a running joke, an inside joke, that we sense... that Because it's our sense of humor. <laughs> it's all twisted. and didn't threaten him. We did. I didn't threaten him. In fact, I didn't say anything during that except for I laughed. So that was not part of the my joke. Camera. But apparently, because you and Amelia had a joke, and you can't blame Amelia, he blamed me for it. So, and me. And just the two guys. Yeah, because we're honky devils, even though Dylan's Hispanic. Right. What if he knew you were Hispanic? He probably just would have attacked me. Probably. Yeah. Uh, Dylan's a minority here. I am. I'm a one sixteenth Cherokee. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. No, but I am. Ac- but I am actually Hispanic. Yeah. But um, <laughs> this guy. So naturally. When people are calling na- calling us names, brats, calling us fuckers, sort of thing. Oh, someone threatened to watch the whole two hours to find the part that th- threatened him so he could block us. And I think he legends called- say, legends say he is still watching the podcast to this day to see exactly where it happens. He's on his fifth or sixth viewing. He swears it happens sometime. But he just doesn't know when. But, so he keeps watching. I mean, I watching. it was so okay. confusing to follow because I don't follow this guy. In fact, I only heard of him once because he called, He did this to Matt Wilkins. He still does it to Matt Wilkins. But I guess because Matt Wilkins doesn't give him the time of day, and we're not even going to call him by name, he turned to us. Guilt by association. It's the only thing I can think of that he would actually watch this. Um, well, he's not going to watch this. He's just going to find something completely out of context well, that we well, say and so, blame us for it. So I tweeted him and I said, can you give me a specific time as to when you did this? Like, I can actually pull up the tweet right now. You can read this. And thank you, Matt Brown, for the... Uh, the favorite on Twitter. Okay. I said, quote, hi there, comma. I would like to see the, pr- see some proof of these stabbing accusations. End of first sentence, beginning of second sentence. Thank you for the publicity. Smiley face. And I think that's why he blocked me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> 
and that's kind of kind of the we you know we have a reason that we call we have our Darth names. For example, Darth Grocer on a podcast that we were in once had audio problems where every time he would turn his mic on, it's be- not his. Wrong about said groceries. It's Darth correct. Harasser, we call him because he harassed people at a convention. And apparently, Darth Coward is one of the people he allegedly harassed. Allegedly. Allegedly. By the way, um, you can say anything you want if you just have allegedly at the end of it because, you know, you're just saying like allegedly. Allegedly. But anyway. Yeah, he alleged, no joke, no country aside, he allegedly, uh, Darth Harasser, allegedly harassed Darth Coward. But the reason we call him Darth Coward is because it seems like every time one of us goes there to try to correct him or he just start a dialogue about it, he just blocks us. I mean, uh, Brian, um, who's been on the show, um, show before a few times, uh, helped out with the billboard. Um, pro- he was a uh, pretty much the driving force behind the billboard, really. Uh, um, he, uh, Darth uh, Harasser, or not Darth Harasser, I'm getting our darts mixed up now. Uh, Darth Coward uh, posted that no one's going to know what the, uh, everyone's going to ask, why are Star Wars fans asking about the ex- um, European Union? And Brian replied to that saying, actually, if you look on the website, it says clearly that we want the expanded universe continued under the Legends banner. And then he just blocked him for that. So, we call him Darth Coward because he just blocks people without uh, responding or even opening up the dialogue. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm trying to get Matt. Of course, to- he'll probably take. All- We're trying to get Matt to join. We're gonna have a mid podcast join. And actually, now that I settle that, he's probably gonna post this one and be like, "Now they're saying I'm a coward because I block people who disagree with me." Okay. Yeah, good for you. You did it. Uh, I'm glad you're telling the truth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get a mid podcast. We'll guest see. Star. He's uh, he's watching right now. Matt joins. Matt is watching. Matt Wilkins. Yes. Or Matt. Yes, I haven't talked to Matt in a week, so it's like yeah. Dylan's talked to him more recently. Well, I mean, I texted him briefly, you know, because I was, I was a little irritated, a little peed off, I will say. This was almost a can rants, and then I wanted to get in on it too. And obviously, we know uh, we can't, unless we were to do this call, like, with us both on our toilets, I guess. Yeah, my audio would be so bad. It have to be on the, ta- the tablet. Ugh. Right. Remember, remember my- Panther tried to join us on a tablet or a phone, and it didn't work. And he kept getting cut out for like 20 minutes of a stretch. Yeah, and I'm a single college student who works on cars for a living, so my bathroom is not the cleanest. Hey, my shower's clean. That's it. That's all that's clean right now. I cleaned it this Oh, morning. my shower's a mess. You have no clue how much, like, just... I, I don't bother. I clean it like maybe once every few weeks because after one after one shower, it's just like grease and oil and fl- just everywhere. I've given. I've mostly given up. I'm just like it's gonna be like this. I just I'm the only one that uses it. How did this get from Darth Coward to our bathing habits? I don't know, but we bathe. We do bathe. That's what matters in the end. <laughs> in fact, uh, it's actually mandated at my workplace that we bathe at least once a day and wear deodorant and shave. Oh, I shave because we have we have hygiene standards. I know you don't you don't have like the caveman thing anymore. It got so hot, man. Last night it was so disgusting. It got like it was the tropics in here. It was so bad, so I just shaved my hair off. You sure? Um. I mean, yeah, uh, pubes, but I mean, that's not for this podcast. It's for what's under Jeremy shorts. Check oh, out that God. podcast. Never. But I mean, I, I wanted like, are you sure? Because I mean, we all know the real reason. You're just such a big new canon fan that you were going to the old Luke Skywalker bearded look. Oh, dude, that beard is but- so wonderful. Don't talk shit about it. <laughs> 
it, it makes perfect sense for their new canon, and I got no problem with that. <laughs> the beer. makes me want to watch Force Awakens and masturbate. I mean, I mean, watch intently. What the hell? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where my hamsters went, and you're. <laughs> Wait, you have hamsters? What purposes do you need hamsters for? Oh, I yeah, I have a. Uh... Well, yeah, I mean, Jeremy has cats. I guess I'm going to get my pets. I have uh, four hamsters and a python. Those are my uh, pets. But I'm wondering what happens, because I used to have 12 hamsters and a python, but I, I don't know what, where they keep going. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it is weird, because it's like, it's like one, one like will like get out of its cage and like somehow go missing like every couple of weeks. And it's like... Wh- where the hell are they going? If uh, you're watching this, if you can put in the comments what you think is happening to my hamsters, that'd be great. Yeah. God. And then Matt won't join us. What an asshole. What an asshole. Anyway. Shut up! Where wow. was uh, Do you want to talk about Jaina? Oh, yeah. We need to vote Jaina. Django, you asshole. I mean, he voted for Star Killer like the traitor. Well, uh, here's the thing: I I get voting for any EU character. Here's the deal: Star Killer already had a Black Series figure. So did Mara. Although they weren't the six inch ones; they were the smaller ones. They had them already. There's actually actually been a slew of EU. Black Series figures prior to the Disney buyout. Malgus, Malgus even Revan had. Um, Revan had one. Um, Satine, no, Revan, I don't think Revan did. Um, though that was the 30th anniversary. They had Bastila. Bastila had one. Malgus had one. Starkiller had one. Plagius had one. And Mara had one. And those are the ones I can think of off my, the top of my head. There's more. You can pretty much. I mean, you could find them on eBay. They're they're expensive, but I, I really wanted the Darth Plagueis one to go next to your copy of Plagueis. Uh, but but yeah, Jaina is. I mean, I said this earlier on uh, earlier today in a video, but uh, of the four expanded universe character, Jaina is the least likely that they can make into the new canon. In fact, it's pretty much impossible to have Jaina Solo in the new canon because the, the, the I mean, that's like that would be like uh, that would be like levels of continuity errors that would make Dave Filoni jealous. That's how bad it would be. A heart attack because he couldn't do it better. Oh my god, he would be like he he might just quit writing because he's like, there's no way I can possibly mess continuity up that much. I, I'm just I'm just done. Okay, we need to send Matt a link. We need to send Matt a link. He's coming in. Okay, we're gonna have an emergency in the middle of a podcast ad. Tried to do it. Uh, uh, by the way, um, whenever we have Matt on the podcast, because Google is terrible and because um, Matt is not that tech savvy, it's cr- it takes approximately seven to twelve years to get him on hey. on average. Hey, you're being too nice. It's a 15 year thing. 15? Okay. Decade and a half. Like, I mean, I you have know. to mow the lawn that doesn't exist in my yard. Right. It's just, you know. It's like if it's like if you uh if you started watching like the the King Kong the one the King Kong with like Jack Black in it, right? You would basically get to like the parts when like the musical number is happening at like the two and a half hour mark, and he would still just be clicking on the link to get in at that point. <laughs> you'd be watching The Godfather on VHS, and you'd be on the second VHS tape. You could probably get through the entire uh, Star Wars saga before he would get into the here. But anyway, we've completely gone off topic again. Amelia's not even here, and she's derailing us in spirit. Um, <laughs> Amelia, we miss you. Come back on the show, so we. Can uh, but currently, currently, um, yeah, currently, uh, our biggest fear with them adding um, 
expand universe character winning is they can bring them into the new canon. Well, there literally is no possible way that they can bring Jaina into the new canon. Not only not only that, because because they can use it as a justifier, pos- like this character is popular, we can put it in the new canon. That's what we're trying to avoid. But the same token, they can think, "Wow, this character is really popular." We had a novel in the works about that same character that got discontinued, even though it was pretty much almost done. What if we made that novel and just released it to cash in on all the people thinking it was popular? Then we get our EU back. It works from multiple angles. And then uh, there's another people in the poll who are complaining that, like, oh, only movie characters should be in the poll. Only blah, blah, blah. You know, the expanded universe, she doesn't belong in the poll. They need to do the movie characters. I'll, I'll challenge you to remember last year in the fan poll, the finalists were um, Revan and Sabine, who ended up winning. There was a Gamor- the Gamorrean Guard, uh, Lando... Um, old Ben, to, old Ben, which they make were, a black series figure anyway. Exactly, that's the problem. There were two others, but they made old Ben lost the lost. He was he was one of the least voted out of them. And fast forward a year later, all of a sudden he's a black series figure. He's a nice, I mean, granted, he's, nice he's an ex. He's an exclusive Black Series figure that he can only buy at certain conventions, but he's still a Black Series figure. And he was still released before both of the winners last year. This is why we're rallying for the Expanded Universe. They're going to make these characters eventually anyway. They're, they have no incentive to make the Expanded Universe characters unless we vote for them. Now, currently, uh, Jane is third in the voting. Darth Talon is at 25%, Starkiller at 22%. Jaina at 16%, Captain Rex at 15%, Dengar 13 and Mara at 9 Now, StarWars.com has a bit of a problem with their polls with um, bots, bot voting or people spamming the votes. It's usually – it's a lot more relevant around the time they do that their March Madness stuff. Um, but they do have the problem. Now, in recent years, they fixed the problem or at least kind of. What they do is a little bit before the poll ends, somehow they're able to determine the ones – they're able to clear out the spam ones so that it becomes more uh, more accurate to how people were actually voting and following the rules. So it's possible that one or more of the characters are currently getting spam because of the bot voting. So there's still hope for Jaina, and then there's also the argument that last year – Revan won by a landslide. It was like 45, 46 to 23, 24%. But 20 point, over 20 point difference. But Sabine also got the bonus figure. Now this year, it's a lot closer with the top three, really the top four within uh, less than 10 percentage points of each other. Mm -hmm. So there's a possibility that we could get more than one figure. We can get probably two or three figures. So keep voting Jaina just so we can keep Rex out of it. <laughs> we can keep her in the top three, maybe even get to the top slot. Keep the expanded a Rex one sooner. They're gonna make a Rex one anyway. Yeah. I mean, he's in Rebels. They're gonna make they're making pretty much all the Rebels characters. I think almost all the main cast has been announced at this point. But yeah, keep voting Jaina, keep promoting vote Jaina. Uh, we will win this. We got about four days left. Three days, actually, because today's almost over. But anyway. Uh, you know what that means? It means that we'll have a Thrawn figure. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I care. Not my Thrawn. It's a thron. Thron's a thron. Well, no, it's I'm not. not even. Even if they make a leg a Lego Rebel set with Thrawn in it, I'm not going to buy it. Was there ever like, a Thrawn minifigure? No, I have a. Uh, let me find it. I have a custom Thrawn, which is basically I use the uh, twenty uh, twenty fourteen. I think it was uh, the year that the um, uh, Wolf Yularen was the May the 4th character for Lego. 
Uh, basically, it's a white uniform, pretty much almost identical to the Grand Admiral's uniform. I have that torso and uniform, um, and then I gave put a Duros head on it because they've made Duros figures before, and that's my custom Thrawn. But even if they make a real Thrawn, I'm not going to buy it. Like an actual official Thrawn, I'm not going to buy it because it'll be a Rebels character. And it's not it's not the real Thrawn. Uh, I don't think Matt's going to join us. <laughs> Just like how this coming wave, I will not be buy, buying the um, uh, the Mar- Armada. I will not be buying whatever the hell the uh, Imperial Fleet um, flotilla is be. Gonzada class, I think it is, because it's not canon, or it's it's from Rebels. It's from the new canon, and I only collect expanded universe and movie canon stuff, mm-hmm. or old movie canon, I guess. Should we get into what we're reading? Sure. Vote Jaina. Vote Jaina. I'm reading Vote Jaina. Uh, it's, I'm also on the side reading Vote Jaina. I mean, it's better than um, Bill reading Kenobi's Blade still. Well, not really, because I'm still at the exact same spot I was in Fate of the Jedi Abyss. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't picked it up. Well, to be fair, we recorded it Sunday. This is what, Tuesday? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude, I've read a lot. Um, let's see. I got one. I-, I am on issue 18 of the Marvel Star War- original Marvel Star Wars comics. Read a really cool Star Wars issue that had Luke. Uh, uh, it was a one shot about Luke and Biggs. Fighting mm-hmm. Tusken Raiders. It was pretty cool. Um, Darth Bane, Path of Destruction. I'm a third of the way through now. He's now okay. training to be a Sith. That's where I'm at. Hey, 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 spoilers. Spoilers. Bro, Come yeah, on. Darth Bane. Come oh, on, people. Matt, people didn't. Matt just messaged me. How do I get in? <laughs> You guys are about to see a live a sneak peek of behind the scenes getting um, these podcasts started. Hold on. We are not ending until Matt gets in here. Okay, but anyway. Sorry, um, sorry, for, the, sorry for the three-day long podcast in advance, guys. Can I just say this? I'm, re- I'm listening to Aftermath Life Dead right now. It is the longest fucking thing. I've ever listened to. Well, no, it's not true. I listened. Atlas shrugged as four eight-hour parts. It's the longest thing I've ever listened to. But this feels like the longest thing. It's on part three, and I'm only halfway through the book. Uh, Vision of the Future is a twenty-four hour um, audio book. I know because I listened to that in less than two days. But Visions of the Future is a good book. <laughs> After my life, dead. Oh, it's 15 hours long. Feels like two years long. It just, the thing about it, it's slightly better than Aftermath. I will give it that. But it has interludes, which are useless. Um, it's all horribly written. And there's over amounts of sex, sexual innuendos and just straight up sex stuff in it. So he's trying to be Troy Denning now? In, like, a really bad Troy Denning, like, one of the characters said she would ride this guy like a land speeder or a speeder bike. What? That's actually said in the book. Yeah. Is, like, like Mark Thompson, like, after every guest going, like, kill me. Mark Mark Thompson's like, "Bring bring me more Ritalin. Give me some more go- uh, Xanax, please. I need to take a nap. <laughs> Which, by the way, he seems like he's not trying in this. I'm going to be honest. He, his voices are off. Some of them are good. Like, his voice is really good. His lay of voice is off. But, I mean, well, I mean, his lay of voice has always been off. Unfortunately, he's not it, good at making women. It's, but it's off more than usual. And a lot of the characters, because I remembered what they sounded like in the first Aftermath book, don't sound the same. Sound a little off. But it's just like, really? 
And then the, the the character that's not Thrawn but acts like Thrawn. He's sleeping with like an intern, and it comes off as rapey. And I'm like, oh no, leave this out of Star Wars. Come oh, on, man. Sleeping with an intern? You mean like that's never happened in Star Wars before? There certainly isn't, you know, a character who is pretty much known for being someone's mistress who ended up being kind of badass in the end, even though they always failed for some reason. That's certainly never happened before, at least. (laughs) You're just, like, smiling. And Matt's like, how do I internet? What's the start button? Yeah. Wait, do I left or right click it? What we should do is we should get Matt on Skype and like while we're in the podcast, walk him through how to join. (laughs) (laughs) Hey Matt, are you lost? Oh my goodness. They can hear you. (laughs) What? I can hear you. I'm going to be echoey really bad, I think. Am I echoey, Dylan? No, you're not in the call, so it's fine. Um, I sent you a link on here on, on your computer. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> if only we uh, edited this podcast. So he's we could giving this- me Tristan faces right now. Is he taking his shirt off? No, he's not. Is he flipping oh, off the camera? Oh, no, he's giving the Tristan a cringe face. (laughs) Stop. (laughs) Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he's jerking off. Okay. Matt, come on. There are kids that watch this. He took the shirt off. Oh, it is. He turned the lights. Oh, no. No. (laughs) All right, Matt. Uh... (laughs) Matt. (laughs) What has my life come to? All right, so walk Matt through because I don't think he can. You're not even. I click oh, away God. for like two, doing the Darth Grocer. I I, I I click away for two seconds and then I come back and it's just your chair. Uh, now uh, Jaden's messaging me on the admin chat saying, "What the fuck." <laughs> Jaden, join join the chat. Join join the call right now, you Australian asshole. <laughs> Matt, Matt, you just click on the Google sign in thing I sent you. You didn't get it? It does it, it asks for a plug in and it, it's still verifying oh, it's, it's time still I verifying that. the plug in. By now, the way, why is this, time to mention- this happens to him and Bill every time. Only bills a slight it takes slightly less time. Well, that's only because our, our great sponsor Comcast is um, just doing such a fantastic job being the intermediary, bringing this podcast to you all. Uh, Comcast Internet, you know. Uh, oh my god! Oh, so Wild Space is canon in the new canon? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think you said that last podcast. Did I? Yeah, it is. It is playing a key role in this. Oh, and Han Solo is rocking his Luke Skywalker homeless beard. Okay. Because he got stranded or something. He's been hiding out on this planet in wild space. And Chewbacca's missing. And, like, people... Wedge has a new girlfriend who's the main one of the main characters. They have a thing. Is she, like, um, a blue-skinned scientist? That like um, used to work on the Death Star. Okay, no. so they're at least being original now. Yeah, 
I, and I expect this, considering Wedge's ne- backstory is now he was an Imperial pilot. Uh, Matt just okay. hung up on me. Um, how rude. How rude. He chewed that. I did the Jar Jar when that's a C-3PO. Oh. I don't know. They both sound the same. Uh, Jaden's coming to his PC. Sounds pretty gross, dude. Wow. I mean, it's better than coming. First, I mean, first we had a Canadian. Now we're going to have an Australian. What's going on here? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. It is uh, Jaden. God of Discord, the worst talking website. Fuck you. Discord is amazing. No, it's not. <laughs> Fucking trash it, you know it. No, Discord is the best. You don't know so what remember, what? remember when this is supposed to be a short podcast where we just talked about uh, Darth, um, whatever Cal- his name is, Darth Cal- no, We're gonna get the whole admins in here. This podcast is gonna last for hours. We're never gonna, we're never gonna get the whole admins because like Jango will never shoving things up his bee hole. Like I said last time, <laughs> um, it's currently like, sleeping. it's currently like. Yeah, it's for like four in the morning for Hazim. <laughs> and uh, Sean never checks it anyway. Yeah, it, I think it's because of co- I renamed his uh, tag "Butt Sex Goldilocks," which still is, <laughs> take it till like three months to actually figure out. Well, <laughs> again, because he never he never comments, so I never see his nickname. Uh, Jaden, what's your name on there? Um, I don't remember. Please don't oh, I think, say is it still Gaiden and Dom? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So whenever we have a new person on the podcast, how do we have to go with the how you got into the EU? So. Oh, all right. All right. Um, originally, um, when I was a kid, I played Kotor, as you do. Fucking brilliant game. And then I sort of went off Star Wars for a while. I always used to watch Episode Two because I had that on DVD when I was a little kid. That was a great movie, you know. One of the classic prequels, the best movies. And um, then, maybe as soon as the Clone Wars finished, I pretty much marathoned the whole thing, being a Star Wars noob and all. And then that pretty much led me into, oh, look at all these cool planets and the lore and stuff. And then I started reading the novels, and then the fucking... no, It's all no longer canon, and then I raged for a while. And, um, yeah. I've got... All my shit behind me, but I can't be fucked turning on my webcam, so I won't bother. I started off, I'll say, I, I, I was gonna, I was gonna read from Kotor, oh sorry, all the um, Old Republic section through the novels, and read in chronological order. But I gave up on that and read Death Troopers, which is a fantastic book. And then, oh, what a great book! Um, and then I read Kenobi, another fucking fantastic book. And then I started Darth Bane, and then I got tired out in Star Wars. You're you're triggering a certain Darth Grocer right now. Yes. Because you know this is he, he now watches these again. So. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, Kenobi is the best Star Wars book, hands down. <laughs> it's the best book in the. It's not even the best. It's the best book. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm going to. I'm going to get my watch. Travis here. is the best writer, correct? Oh yeah, Karen Travis is by far the best writer ever. Um, she just like, I mean, no one writes like she does. I mean, just like, you know, with all the anti-Jedi sentiments and like, you know, just like war. Doc- There's no writer like it. Just the best, just top notch. Everything is great about what Karen Travis does. All right, so Jaden, what have you been reading? <laughs> the best book. Here we go. <laughs> um, I haven't really been reading anything recently. I've just been playing video games and being shit. The last thing I was reading was um the Darth Bane trilogy. I got up to halfway through the second book. Oh, I'm on the first. I'm a third of the way through the first. Oh, the first book was pretty good. I I just haven't been motivated to read. And yeah. In your, I don't know. Your Mandalorian garage. Oh yeah, hang on. I'll go. Oh, Here we go. It's my God, Mandalore. 
And I've got a big ass shelf over there full of Star Wars stuff, and I started collecting 40k as well. So I got my oh 40k on my, my PC. Just like take your oaks. paycheck and burn it if you're gonna start getting into that <laughs> yeah. rabbit hole. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't even walk into the store. I burnt money, and they shipped it to me. <laughs> okay, so I have to. I have to jump in here. Matt asked me on Skype for Dylan to talk about his upcoming speed dating. At oh my God! Why? <laughs> I'm not speed dating. <laughs> yes, you are. Dylan, if you can, if I'm gonna bite you, Armada, you're gonna have to fucking speed date. He can't even. No. No. Dylan? No. Hey, everyone, win a date with Dylan. Still going on right now. Win a date with Dylan. Why is this a thing? Cause you Why is this a thing? Tap your own fangirls and boys. I have my hamsters. What the? God damn it, now there's three of them. Oh, yeah, he left his python out with his hamsters again. No, it, I mean, they're in the same cage, yeah, but... I mean, I feed them. Oh, oh. Oh, Jaden, oh. Matt, again, is, ask, is asking you to feed Dylan some pickup lines. What, uh, what the fuck? You want me to ask Dylan some pickup lines? Yeah, what matters this? Each of the ways. Is this Waru? Is this Waru? Waru for president? Oh yeah, we haven't plugged that. Yeah, Waru for president. Um, is there any news recently for the Waru for president camp? Uh, his his Waru lady, a uh, kind of you know. Oh, like, that's right. Yeah, Josie, alas, Josie, you should have written your speech properly and not plagiarized. Mm -hmm. You know, um, reader seventeen seventeen's last video. Right. It didn't actually even work out with your uh, your thing, you know. Right. It's just unfortunate. Yeah. I mean, with all the controversy about Matt and the emails, it's just bad it's just getting It's just getting worse, really. I mean, but, like, again, he still has the nomination of the... Um, um, I keep forgetting his party's name. The Waru Party? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you know, vote Waru. Vote I'm trying to get Tevi in the call, but he's not responding. <laughs> if we get Tevi in the call, it will. This will never end. <laughs> all right, so let's get good. to. Uh, let's, let's get the. All right. Oh wow! Think, uh, breaking news! Breaking news right now on Waru, from Matt Wilkins. Waru's VP shot uh, shortlist. Shortlist is Jedi Prince Ken and Jackson, allegedly. Allegedly, right. Uh, by the way, Jaden, if you weren't watching earlier, um, you can basically say whatever you want as long as you add allegedly after it, then it makes it okay. Oh, okay. Like. So I can say that know, allegedly. To Django stop. did actually give Groovy a hand, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's probably happened. I mean, allegedly, Django did comp receive a completely free copy of Battlefront and then complained about it and said he wanted his money back. Allegedly, of course. Allegedly. All allegedly. Oh, uh, but more from Matt. Allegedly, uh, Dylan is really John Sadler, allegedly. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Let's get to Darth Riddler's 78-part. Oh, oh, uh, that on here. <laughs> okay, so Dylan apparently Matt, stuffed his hamsters up his ass allegedly. <laughs> I mean, we've all been thinking that. <laughs> Come on. One of them. I just this lost why, one of them. This is why we, we started the podcast with four, and now there's three of them. Kenobi. And Kenobi, we have. We've got to get the triggering going, you know? <laughs> Okay, so we have a ten-part question from Dark Snovia we need to answer. Only ten? Is it only ten part this week? I know, he decided to give us some light reading today. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll pull this up. Do you want me to pull it up for once? 
I, I have it up. Uh, who is your favorite of the solo kids and why? Jaina? Yeah, the one that's not dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jaden? I haven't read into all of that shit, so let's just go. Close second. Jaina. Close second. I'll be along with you. Alana is adorable. Oh, oh close second. Could go Anya. Eh, I think Alana's better. Alana is pretty fucking cute. She has a pet next to. I mean, well, like, yeah. come on. Um, next question. I know I'm biased, as I think Soul is my favorite of the Soul kids, but am I the only one that feels like killing him off was a waste of ways he had so much potential? Uh, I mean, I, yeah. I disagree. Because it was a curveball to the fans. Yeah, it's it's kind of half and half. Yes, it was a waste. He he probably would have led the Jedi better than they could have uh, without him after Luke's gone. But again, it had to. It's a good twist. Yeah, and plus, uh, that would be boring. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you're literally literally reading New Jedi Order for the first half. They built up Anakin so much in the first half of how powerful he is, and you're just like. Okay, yeah, I see where this is going. Okay, yeah, this guy, and then, and then you get halfway through the series, and it's like they just killed off the protagonist. Oh, great, who's cool? Tristan, why are you in my? We're in a podcast right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're getting Tristan. Tristan, are you gonna speak? Yes, he's speaking right now. Can can we hear? Send, send him a link to the hangout. Send him a link to the hangout. Yeah, I'm going to send you the link to hang out right now. Oh my god, we're getting Tristan on here now? Oh yes. Now Bill's going to get triggered. First, we tr first we're triggering Darth Grocer, now we're triggering Bill. You're, you're this podcast should just be trigger warning. <laughs> this podcast will be Legends Episode 17 trigger warning. Tristan, I, I, was, I was channeling you today. Uh, we had a guy who... Uh, who accused me of threatening to stab him. Allegedly. Allegedly, you know. Allegedly. Hey, come on, join us. Join us, man. Joining. He's joining. Oh, baby. Oh, shit. Okay, he hung up. Oh, this is going to be good. He's probably going to flip. And like, who's this Jaden guy? I don't know, Jaden. <laughs> How come, how come Dylan can talk about solo movies? Yeah, Matt has a great question for you, Dylan. How come you can talk about hot solo girls, but you know you can't do speed dating? Matt, that is, that's creepy. Okay, Alana's like eight. <laughs> I mean, if you think if you think that's hot, Matt, um, I. I I mean I'm not judging, but like it's it's kind of creepy. I mean you're what like in your you're in your 30s and I don't know with the technology. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! Every it, this podcast is now a train wreck. I don't even know. <laughs> Somehow seven people. Lost this this may may go the way of um. The Cross of the Omniverse Hangout 1. <laughs> Got, okay, no, I need more people for that to happen. Next question, next question. we got to get through this. Okay. Um, uh, am I the only one that felt like Darth Maul was more badass before the Clone Wars neutered him? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everyone thinks no, that. Man. And I, I love that spider leg Darth Maul, of course. He was a fucking amazing character. Well, it's it's uh, the Gen uh, the Council Force cast. If you uh, watch, they did a they did a he, red. He, he, he sexually identifies as a spider now. Okay, guys, you have to accept it. How does he poop? <laughs> That's my question. I actually have a recon for this, kind of. Uh, fabrics have different body structures than normal humans, like how they have two Absolutely. hearts. 
Zabrox, yeah, Zabrox. Zabrox, well, whatever, however you pronounce their their curfing name. Um, they have two hearts. They have different bodily functions. Maybe their uh, their systems are wired a different way that they don't need to do that. Where do they poop? I don't know. Maybe they don't need to do it. I don't know. Where does Waru poop? Well, we didn't see him eat, so I don't know if we, he has to poop. Right, exactly. Maybe he just... He uses the force for nourishment. Maybe he uses photosynthesis. <laughs> oh, yes, the force, of course. Could someone who is actually talented with Photoshop please make a, a, a Clone Wars uh, Darth Maul of him like with like a giant cyclops? <laughs> it's like a plant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, like a photosynthesis. I'll do, like, it. I'll do it before the end of the podcast. <laughs> Wait, so we wanted, we wanted to have a tree growing out of his spider ass? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm on it. Uh, spider mole. What? What the? Down Google. What is going on? All right, next. Okay. Question. Who's your favorite Star Wars villain? Um, Dave Filoni. Oh, wait, did I say that aloud? Sorry. <laughs> uh, Talk wind dig then. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Uh, Abrams. Bob Iger. <laughs> I would have to say Pelion because he's even though he is not he, he becomes a good guy. When I was looking for Spider Man. Spider Man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Kristen's also having to download the plugins. God, what what's are we just used to this terrible way of doing hangouts? I guess it's because we actually update our stuff, unlike Matt, who just doesn't. Like how he does didn't um he just lets it go. You know, like he, how he didn't fund um help fund Hexer Dusk, so now he's not going to be able to get it. And then he doesn't want to do the Indiegogo as well, so he's basically not going to read Hector Dusk. What? By the way, when that comes out, we are going to do a a podcast on it. Yeah. It looks awesome. We'll do a book club episode. <laughs> Anyway, how many wasted opportunities do you feel the original expanded universe had? Do you feel like the new canon tells the stories that never a chance to tell? Um, wasted opportunities. Yeah, they had some stuff. Well, it was just they didn't flush things out. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, the new canon isn't doing any better. In fact, it's worse. Yeah. It's so limited on what they're allowed to write that, you know... They can't go anywhere with it. So you have a whole bunch of crap between episodes four and five again. And, like, nothing anywhere else, really. Uh, and next question. I'm glad you loved my finale to my I'm Done with Lucasfilm series. Would it be a good idea to upload it at some point in the future just for some amusement? Yes. It's your channel. Do it. Do what the hell you want with it. Jaden, did you see Dark Snovia throw all of his new canon books after tearing them up in the garbage? No, I heard you talk about it last, last podcast, though. It was hilarious. I was laughing on the toilet and, like... He should have... Like, again, he should have... Um, Put it in the same funeral pyre that uh, Matt Wilson put his Kevin Durant jerseys in. <laughs> anyway, um, this is most likely going to guess at some point in the future. But how bad do you think think the hack uh, Dave Felony will ruin Thrawn and Rebels? Um, Dave by the way, Felony. Fucking hell. by the way. Uh, True story. Whenever I try to type in Dave Filoni, my autocorrect legitimately tries to, to change it to felony. I don't know if autocorrect is trying to tell me something. I um, think so. That whole hamster thing, though. Anyway, next question. Uh, well, God I, damn it, now there's two of them. So, um... Um... Uh, uh, well... <sighs> It's Rebels. Do we even care? Yeah. I mean, everyone, from what I've heard, everyone in this show is either, like, incompetent or, like, Darth Vader. He just showed up, 
kicked ass for a little bit, and then they like he's like, oh, he's kicking too much ass, so we need to write a way that he can like go away. Oh, you mean how he so it's gonna be one of the... killed Ahsoka at the end of last season? Allegedly. Huh? Allegedly. Oh, Darth Allegedly. Maul's in the show. Okay. That, that, that's a thing. My fucking Australian internet can't even load an image of a tree. What the fuck? <laughs> Australia, show sponsor. Uh, which Star part. Wars... Next one. Which Star Wars comic or novel do you feel is overrated? Um, Heir to the Empire. <laughs> the Force Definitely of- not Kenobi, of course. It's the best book in right. Star Wars. No, Kenobi is actually the most underrated book of all time. Yeah. I mean, it really is. It's all Edward's fault, though, because he put out so much hate on it. I blame him. Uh, the fucking I'm actually gonna... Star Wars was incredibly overrated. And I that mean, was coded as like a game changer in the EU when it wasn't. What was? The Brian Wood Star Wars comics. Yeah. That was garbage. I would say it's become more apparent recently... But I'm gonna stick with Heir, Heir to the Empire, just because uh, it's a. There are good books that that series. It's a good. It did a wonders for the expanded universe. But I just feel like recently it's gotten to a point of, and this kind of stems off the whole Zontok, where it's almost completely infallible. When like Matt says, there are flaws to it. There are. It's and there are there are books in the expanded universe that are a lot better, but it's kind of become so trendy to of all the expanded universe books basically see like I hate the expanded universe. I love Thrawn, but I hate the expanded universe. That I feel it's become over two years than uh, recent history. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna stick with Heir of the Empire, not to trigger every single expanded universe fan out there. They force unleashed, though. Yeah, that because that's trash. For the most, it's so dumb. It it was a really fun game, but it had a stupid story. Second one had an even dumber story. It but was, the second one had better gameplay. No, I, it was too easy. Uh-oh. It broke the. You, it was the same. You went through a fucking level where you hack and slash. Then you find one of those stupid fucking mechs where you freeze it, smash it. Then there's another mech, freeze it, smash it. There's another mech, freeze it, smash it. It's the yeah. same loop again and again and again. The first game actually had some variety. Yeah, the first one, there was actually a challenge. But yeah. when you have two lightsabers and you fly around the screen, you're just going to murder everything. I think there was only... It's easier than the Batman games. In that game, where I had difficulty, it was when I was fighting like four imper- um, ATSTs. The challenges were pretty bad. I still haven't beat them all yet. I have uh, Anyway. Uh, why am I the only one who has questions? As I do wish I had some sort of competition. But it doesn't <laughs> seem like anyone else wants to challenge me in terms of how much complex question I ask. Why is that? Evil hat. You. You need to come back and challenge Dark Snowbia. Right. We're actually going to do a giveaway. Um... You, I'm giving Dylan away. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, uh, and, uh, I mean, we saying. have. Take them, please. I, we have a, if you we have a uh, with Dark Snovia who we've had on the show before. If you ask questions, if you ask good questions, still, which not all of Dark Snovia's questions are good. It's Dark Snovia just kind of has like a shotgun thing where like he just he just hits like 50 Shots questions out. Fired. My God! He just has like 50 you, questions out, you and ask like 200 200 questions. Questions. One of them is bound to be good. Exactly. But again, we have him on the show because he provides us comp with content. So you know, you want to be on the show, ask us questions. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Final question, uh, which is a lie, because you'll have eight million questions in the next question um, one. But sure, keep lying to yourself. Uh. <laughs> uh has there ever been a novel that you? Re- Read that pissed you off so much that you just couldn't finish it because it was so bad and it was boring. Luke Skywalker in the Shadows of Mindor. No. <laughs> no, but Planet of Twilight. I was so close. I was so close. Just saying no. 
I remember more about Dark Empire than I do that plot into the Twilight. I read them both at about the same time. Yeah. Oh, there this we is go. my progress, by the way. Oh no. <laughs> what the hell? This may be our part of our um our, our um thumbnails for these videos. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a picture. <laughs> All right. Does All Matt right. have any more questions? No. Is Matt even still watching? Probably not. Uh, He's but probably gonna. I, I don't know what anyone is watching, to be honest. I don't know. It's probably well, gonna be like that. Right now, go to Skype, call Tristan and Matt, and we'll continue having a more profane conversation while I get. To break. It's gonna be like that one time when we record a podcast. And we invited Josie, and she was downloading it. Then it took her too long, so we recorded the podcast. And 20 minutes after we ended the podcast, she finally got in. And I'd like to thank our sponsor, Com...